after work like a ritual, I sit on the floor and lean forward, stretching muscle and tendon. I stand, pull one foot towards my ass, hold, count to ten, then the other. I place my feet against the wall, my calves tighten, I lock my apartment, put my headphones in, and press play. I have always wanted to be handsome to be more than what this face allows, to walk into a room and see heads turn and jaws drop, the guy with the chiseled jaw, the chiseled body muscles tearing holes in his button-down Gucci suit. After eight minutes, I have reached my first mile. My pace is faster than normal. For the first time in weeks, my legs feel good. The music keeps my feet pumping. I will run further. I will push harder. I would give every poem I have ever written to have abs of steel instead of the cushion that has crept from my stomach. What the fuck does that say about me? That the way I look is more important than art. That I have sat in my high chair and let other people spoon feed me their idea of beauty and masculinity. I can wear confidence like a cheap suit. No matter how well it fits, the fabric will always be second rate around three miles. A bead of sweat splashes, drips down my cheek, splashes the corner of my mouth. It is salty. My shirt is drenched and my mouth thirsty. My pace has increased. It's the only way to keep the tornado from ripping the lid off the casket of my you aren't good enoughs. And who do you think you are? I have counted calories. Tried the Atkins regime, drank protein shakes, put my veins full of steroids, been to rehab and back, let my finger touch the back of my throat, tasted breakfast twice, left dinner in the toilet, pushed lunch around with a fork like I actually tasted something at the midway point. I start counting my steps in time with the music to quiet the hurricane in my legs. I have been skinny and fat and hated myself at both. My body it's constantly under construction. I wear caution tape as underwear. Mile eight, and my thighs burn with the intensity of lava flowing down the mountainside. My ankles are melting soon. I will erupt, but I can't stop. I must torture my body until I am finally lovable, given the chance. I would break my bones. Let someone sculpt my body into marble. I would rip off my skin and start new. This is an addiction unlike any other. I can't, I have to live inside this bulk. I can't cold turkey quit what I call home. My nine finally gives in to my body's desire. I feel guilty over my slow pace. Mile 10, I am back home. I unlock the door, stretch my aching muscles drink a glass of water for dinner, go to bed hungry.